checked out a new version today. In fact, it just went into the store maybe an hour before before this call. And I just thought it might be helpful for us to see because I was able to connect this to my video system here. And that's what it looks like, Sermon Audio Channel. And um, this is the Legacy Edition for those that want the old interface. But this is the new one. So if you're looking in the Roku store, that's the one you want. So let's hit OK on that. This is our Roku app. From here, you can listen to the radio that we have. This is just a 24-hour running audio stream. You can set up My Church here. Click on that, and you type in your partial church name, like this. And you can see it populating down there. If you type in an exact member ID, just like I did, you know, just faith, then it will show it up as the first one. It pulls up other matches based on the name, but the very first one will be the one that matches the member ID. That's good to keep in mind. But you can also type in the church code ID. If you remember that, there's a five-digit church code that's assigned to every broadcaster that's on the site. And if you type that in, I'll show you how that works. So let's go ahead and clear this out. So in this particular case, it is it's a five-digit code, very easy to enter. And there you go. So we hit that. And we're going to go ahead and say, set my church. So this is my church. And if this church were streaming live, you would actually see that show up here as well. That's what this refresh button is for. If you want to see if the stream is now live, you hit refresh and it just checks it again. And there it is. So it will just show up right there. And so this is a very easy way for church members to be able to.